jeez. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first Man loves case the point. is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Okay. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Pardon me. Uh, okay. Oh, come, you, mm. We're off to a bad start. I don't like you. And somebody has left the door open. This is my car. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Jr. So they're both clearing the deck. But did, Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. Oh, I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. Oh. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. I don't think this has anything to do with it. No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one off. Why so many <laughs> women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Occam's razor. Or whatever. I'm the police! Whoa there! <laughs> now he gets a little less uppity about it than Stefan ever did. Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. I'm already here! Idiot, look at him. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. <laughs> he even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Hot ah, damn, she dead.
patrolman. This your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker in the corner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Hmm. Oh. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Uh, don't step in that. I guess I can't look at it. Victim's bag. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Mm -mm. And a filthy old hairbrush. Known to some drunkards as a hedgehog. Oh. like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. I'd love to. Uh. It doesn't quite match up. That also doesn't quite match up. That also doesn't quite match up. Here we go. Oh, I gotta... Huzzah! Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Guess I should look at the body now. Cause of death? It could be the head injury. She has been badly stomped. Could be. The Jesus. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What's the writing Ugh. on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex, your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. <laughs> can I just go over this? Yeah, I can. be all like, what you make of it? And he'll be all like, oh, I'm thirsty, stop talking to me! An easy way to turn around. Yeah, there is. Ugh. If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> hey, Stefan's still alive. He only lost his head. For my money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. You've been working evidence from BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, uh, Johnny. <laughs> What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? You're finished, though. <laughs> a guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police. 
There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand. Chasing somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We have found him. Let's go. I mean, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive, a 211 in progress and shots fired. You have to handle code 3, identify. Do I look like I handle street crimes? This is the big leagues, uh, with me and Rusty? I forgot his name, I think it's Rusty Galloway. Okay, so go left at the next one. Yeah, my f- uh -huh. Well, he meant that one, didn't he? You fuck! Say it. Yeah, he didn't say it. SAY IT! Watch where you're driving, you maniac! Me or him? <sighs> oh, this place ain't that bad looking. I don't know. Air conditioned? Who do I? Oh. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Oh, yes. he does know. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Hibiscus. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here <laughs> a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. He's just alone. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Mm. Sure I know her. She and I going and to pay for that? Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... That's the spirit. Was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Oh. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I... Made the guy's license plate. Dang. Where's that goddamn waitress? <laughs> I got a call back for that universal chorus line. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like... Lean herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband she buy flew. it? She flew. No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Oh. Her old man never knew about it. He's sad it didn't work out. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. 
put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. But you so want him to. Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? That's not his Stole fault. The attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Mmm. Drove me up to Mulholland. This ain't a bad place. <laughs> Come on, Rusty. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Some nasty ass bamboo stool. I'll use the phone at the Henry's place. You know, where there could be a grieving husband. I'm the cops, you know, I can do that. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As hmm. long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind. <laughs> no, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst avenger, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politics. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, Choir Boy. Betty Short be alive, the Jap would have spared Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficient. Come on, Phelps, solver. shut up! Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. I don't know. Oh, well, there is no forward. It's only left. I'm not code threeing this identification. Go right through here. Go right or go f through? <laughs> so wait for the next turning and go right. Alright. I like this car. Two tone ain't too bad. These game wells are everywhere. Goodness. It's almost as if the police need to use their phones. Or need to use phones. There it is. Move! Circle K? Is that a thing? The next house <laughs> over. Quaint. It's probably at his job. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second.
Hi. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Jimmied. I guess with no vic or er, uh, the husband not here, I won't feel bad for using the phone. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths mm. were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? You idiot. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if this place looks tossed or freaking... Uh. What is this? I doubt it. Tossed or just lived in poorly? Ugh. Ooh, aviation goggles. Oh, there's a phone nearby. Here it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks for your help. Hi, Rusty. Let's go look at the obvious, then. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? I think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. Yeah, not wrong. It's a nice suit. <clears throat> Man. What is this? I. There we go. Size nines. Above average for a lady. What's that have to do with anything? We didn't check the foot size of the lady what got murdered, did we? <laughs> Apartment 2. Me and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. <laughs> what is he Call in burglary and get technical <laughs> services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. What was he Don't doing? Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. What? I'll be honest, I didn't hear what he said. Also, dang, this would be like if I had a house. Just stuff everywhere. Well, I wouldn't have any alcohol or phonograph records. Check the neighbors. Uh, oh. Well, look whom it is. I know, that might be the wrong usage of whom. That's not the point here. Point is, at a distance, you look like a man. Hey! I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss- Horgan! 
Horgan. Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on? Ooh, officer? she's a mama. Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go <laughs> and sit down. <laughs> Camera angle kind of uh, suggested that she was going to walk through the car. Come on, Galloway, let's go haggle somebody else. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserve it. Ha! Skipper says bring him in. And keep the hacks off her back for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation. Oh my goodness, shut up! As far as I'm concerned, it still is. Don't I'm I think I'm, I'm solving a murder. Oh, I gotta go around. Can I sneak up in the and through. <laughs> oh, it's just the cops driving through our yard again. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Okay. I mean, if you get shot, it won't be that much of a loss. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh, my God. RKO, pal. Oh, my God. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. We're going to have a little chat. We're going to start by... I get even the same? slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something the oldest about my wife. What to do about the, the old lady? Thick in here? Wait till you drive the gas chamber. Bunch of closed doors. Huzzah! He was going to skip town with his shoes. Oh, well, that's not uh, a eight. Dology. <laughs> so who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. She, Why would I help she you? She went where she lying? always goes. Look, I'm telling you, I don't no. Why am I accusing this man of being wrong? We know she went to the Bomber Club. Oh! The guy called him! Of course! The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. 
Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. Hmm. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That matches up with the old I don't lady. Remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Yeah. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? <laughs> Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. You're a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. <laughs> if you if, if you didn't give up on her, she'd probably be alive right now. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Yeah, I do. Huh? <laughs> Tell me about Big Mouth. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. <laughs> We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss in a tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <laughs> you're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. Ooh, pow! Smiggity smack! Bang! What Untouchable. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. He seems to have taken that one pretty well. This place ain't bad, too. I'd like to live in a little place like this. Kellogg Cornflakes. Dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. Detective. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. That was quick. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Ooh! Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Ew. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Could you say he kicked her ass? Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Well, yeah, we we're, were already on the... Doing that thing. Well, Alonzo might be a suspect. I want to go visit him. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf. Shut the fuck! Sound like a man I'd let my daughter have right here. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole. You'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want. Sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. <laughs> Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. Hot damn. 
I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Mm. Oh, he's just down the road. Look at that idiot. Sixteen. All the way to the top floor. This is bull. I don't even have a freaking elevator in this building. I'm pissed. God damn, I can't even walk up all the way. Yeah, I could read. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Terrifyingly low res. Oh yeah, 2011. I lost count. Is that it? Yeah, and no, I gotta keep going. Hey! Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. All right. <laughs> Take a look around and see what you can find. Oh, there's nobody here. How convenient. Just some smokes. Um. <laughs> All right. Where are the... Gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. The bottom of this certainly doesn't look like the boot prints I saw on the scene. the thing I should have looked at first. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. <laughs> hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. <laughs> no, I'm not! Do not lose that son of a bitch! I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there! Should have just dove through the window, dude. Look, man! You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Hey, no! I wanted to kick you in the forehead! I'd love to. You get your ass back here! I'm gonna arrest you! You can't run from the cops! Oh, oops. Move! Don't say anything, nothing happened. The one time I get four stars because some idiot idea. runs in the way. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Yeah, you will. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Oh, okay. Oh, you got it. Keep it straight. Try to bust his tires. Don't you fucking run. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. He's, Show me your hand. He said while this man's engine is on fire. I ain't saying a goddamn thing.
He's a... S well... He wouldn't have been caught if he was smart. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Nice. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demanded. <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> nice job drinking without opening your mouth there, Donnelly.